Imagine a place where a single day lasts two years. Welcome to Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Now picture this. You're standing on the surface of Mercury, and you notice something peculiar about the Sun. It seems to move in a leisurely fashion across the sky, taking its own sweet time to rise and set. Why is this, you wonder? Well, this is because Mercury, unlike Earth, spins slowly on its axis, while simultaneously racing around the Sun at breakneck speed. This combination of slow rotation and fast orbital speed results in a strange phenomenon where a solar day on Mercury, the span from one sunrise to the next, lasts two Earth years. A day in the life of Mercury is a marathon, not a sprint. This peculiarity of Mercury's day-night cycle is but a glimpse into the many enigmas the planet holds. Mercury's day-night cycle is just one of its many mysteries. Let's delve deeper. Mercury is a planet of extremes, with the most intense temperature fluctuations in the solar system. This tiny grey sphere, spinning in the darkness of space, is a world of fire and ice. This is due to its proximity to the Sun, as well as its lack of substantial atmosphere, two factors that create a drastic divide between its day and night temperatures. During the day, Mercury basks in the full intensity of the Sun's heat. Its surface, barren and rocky, heats up to a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. Imagine stepping onto a world where a single day could incinerate you. That's the reality on Mercury's sun-kissed side. But let's flip the coin. As we move to the night side of Mercury, things change dramatically. Without an atmosphere to trap the heat, the temperature plummets. In the shadow of its own bulk, Mercury experiences a cold that few places in the solar system can match. The Mercury, no pun intended, drops to a bone-chilling negative, 290 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the surface of Pluto, despite Mercury's close dance with the Sun. This stark contrast in temperature, from searing day to freezing night, is due to Mercury's absence of a significant atmosphere. An atmosphere acts like a blanket, trapping heat and distributing it evenly around the planet. But Mercury, with its thin exosphere, lacks this heat distribution system. The result? is a planet that experiences the most extreme temperature variations in the solar system. What's more, these temperatures are not just surface deep. The heat can penetrate several meters into the ground during the day, while at night, the cold seeps just as deep into the planet's crust. This constant expansion and contraction have a significant impact on the planet's surface features and geology. These temperatures make Mercury a world of fire and ice, a testament to the planet's unique characteristics. It's a place that challenges our understanding of planetary science and continues to fascinate us with its extreme conditions. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, spare a thought for the little planet that endures the solar system's wildest temperature swings. If you think the moon has a lot of craters, wait till you see Mercury. Mercury the smallest and innermost planet in our solar system is a world of extremes, and when it comes to craters, it certainly doesn't disappoint. Mercury's surface is a veritable sea of craters, more so than any other planet in our solar system. This is largely due to its lack of atmosphere. An atmosphere, you see, acts as a protective shield, burning up smaller meteoroids before they can reach the surface. But Mercury, with its thin, almost non-existent atmosphere, doesn't have this luxury. It's essentially a sitting duck for incoming space debris. And over billions of years, this has resulted in a surface that's heavily pockmarked with craters. These craters come in all shapes and sizes. Some are tiny, no bigger than a small town, while others are so large they could swallow whole countries. The largest of these is the Caloris Basin a colossal crater about 800 miles in diameter. Formed by an impact so powerful it sent shockwaves rippling across the planet, it's one of the largest impact basins in the solar system. But it's not just the quantity of craters that's impressive, it's also their quality. Because they've been preserved in such pristine condition, they provide an invaluable record of the solar system's past. Each crater, each impact mark, 
tells a story of a cosmic collision, a moment in time when a meteoroid smashed into the surface of Mercury. And by studying these craters, scientists can glean insights into the nature of the meteoroids that form them. They can estimate their size, speed and direction of impact. They can also learn about the internal structure of Mercury itself, as impacts often expose layers of rock that would otherwise remain hidden. The heavily cratered surface of Mercury tells a story of its ancient past, a silent witness to the solar system's turbulent history. Did you know that Mercury is shrinking? Now, that's a statement that might feel a bit outlandish, but it's true. The smallest planet in our solar system is getting even smaller over time. So, what's causing this? Well, it all boils down to the planet's core. Like Earth, Mercury has a molten core, but unlike our home planet, Mercury's is cooling and contracting. This cooling process has been going on for billions of years and as the core contracts, the surface of the planet follows suit, shrinking along with it. Imagine a grape turning into a raisin. As the grape dries out, it shrinks and the smooth skin starts to wrinkle. This is a bit like what's happening to Mercury. As the planet's core cools and contracts, the surface shrinks and wrinkles, forming cliff-like landforms known as scarps. These scarps are like wrinkles on a face, telling a story of age and transformation. They give us a glimpse into the inner workings of the planet, showing us how Mercury's past has shaped its present. Some of these scarps are hundreds of miles long and over a mile high, a testament to the dramatic changes the planet is undergoing. Now you might be wondering, how much has Mercury shrunk? Well, scientists estimate that over the past 4 billion years, the planet's diameter has reduced by approximately 14 kilometers. That might not sound like a lot, but for a planet that's only about 4,800 kilometers in diameter to begin with, it's quite significant. So, why does this matter? Well, understanding Mercury's shrinking size helps us learn more about the planet's history and its geological activity. It also provides insights into how rocky planets like our own might evolve over time. In the grand scheme of the universe, Mercury's shrinking size might seem like a small detail, but it's these small details that help us piece together the larger puzzle of our solar system. Mercury's shrinking size is yet another captivating facet of this enigmatic planet. Mercury holds yet another surprise, a magnetic field that shouldn't exist. You see, most celestial bodies, including our Earth, owe their magnetic fields to a process called dynamo effect. This process requires the celestial body to have a molten core and to rotate at a significant speed. But here's the catch. Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, rotates very slowly and is so tiny that its core should have cooled and solidified billions of years ago. Yet, against all odds, Mercury has a magnetic field. It's about 1% as strong as Earth's, but it's there. This is a conundrum that has puzzled scientists for decades. How can a planet so small and slow generate a magnetic field? Several theories have been proposed to solve this mystery. One theory suggests that Mercury's core isn't completely solid, but partially molten. This molten core, despite the planet's slow rotation, could generate a weak magnetic field. Another theory posits that the planet's magnetic field is a relic from a time when the core was fully molten and the planet rotated more rapidly. This ancient magnetic field, the theory suggests, got frozen into the crust as the core cooled and solidified. Yet another theory, a rather unconventional one, suggests that Mercury's magnetic field is not due to a dynamo effect at all. Instead, it might be due to the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun, interacting with the planet's iron-rich crust. These theories, while intriguing, are not definitive answers. Each one has its merits and drawbacks, and none can fully explain the enigma of Mercury's magnetic field. So, as it stands, we are left with more questions than answers. What is the true nature of Mercury's magnetic field? What does it tell us about the planet's history and evolution? And what might it reveal about other celestial bodies with surprising magnetic fields? 
The mystery of Mercury's magnetic field continues to baffle scientists, adding another layer to the planet's intrigue. Mercury, a world of paradoxes, hides many secrets beneath its cratered surface. Today, we've delved into the heart of these mysteries, unraveling the enigmatic nature of this tiny planet. We've explored its astonishingly long day-night cycle, a testament to its slow rotation around its axis. We've ventured into its extreme temperatures, where a single day can span from blistering heat to freezing cold, a stark contrast unlike any other planet in our solar system. We've traversed the rugged, cratered surface of Mercury, a visual chronicle of its tumultuous history. We've also examined its peculiar shrinking size, a phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for years. Lastly, we've navigated through Mercury's mysterious magnetic field, an aspect that defies our understanding of planetary science. While we've unmasked some of Mercury's secrets today, this tiny planet continues to be a source of fascination and mystery in our quest to understand the universe.